Good afternoon, everybody. This is North Carolina Prepper. I want to talk about a book I found the other day called Emergency War Surgery, which I've seen before, but this is a survivalist uh, version of it. It's still by the Department of the Army, and um, <clears throat> I've read a little bit of it, and a lot of this is beyond my skill set, way beyond, but it does give you antibiotics to use for certain bacteria or uh, certain weapons of war, basically. Um, what to use and how much and you know depending on that it's it's got a lot of reviews and a lot of information and the reason I picked it up was because right here it's a survival's death reference obviously <clears throat> excuse me but it deals with uh, radiological biological and chemical injuries so when the shit hits the fan whatever causes shit hits the fan could be you know a terrorist attack or whatever those would probably uh, come under things I need to deal with. So, I recommend everybody pick this up for their advanced um, first aid kit or their bookshelf. This isn't something I'd put in my bug out bag. Uh, let's face it, if I ever have to crack this book open in a survival situation, I'm screwed. I am completely screwed. But a doctor in my group could use it. Someone who has more medical knowledge than me can use it. So, I didn't really buy this for myself. I bought it for someone who can use it in my group. Like, I have a lot of medical instruments that are beyond my skill set. So, I, I have them, because if someone comes along and says, Hey man, I can, you know, fix your broken arm. I, you know, I, I mean, I could set a bone, but let's say I couldn't. And they'll say, well, but I'm not going to do it because I've only got so much supplies. I'll say, hey man, I got the supplies, fix me. And they might be willing to trade skill sets. They might do the skill set using more my supplies as opposed to depleting what limited supplies they may have. So I find this book very useful in that aspect. Um, it cost, um, I don't know what I paid for. It was about 13 bucks. Oh, it was 16 bucks. $16. So I picked this up at, I, I think it was uh, Barnes & Noble or Borders. Whatever one's not out of business, that's what I went to. So I think everybody ought to get one of these. They're, they're kind of hard to find. I had to order it, so you should definitely get one. Um, there's a lot of good information here. Uh, a lot of things I can deal with, but the, the surgeries I this isn't to be on my skill set. I have another doctor book that's within my skill set, and I'll, I'll do a review on that in a little bit here. But this one, I, I think you should all go ahead and get a copy of this. Um, I don't know about the other one, the emergency uh, war surgery book, but the uh, the survivalist one is the one I want because these are things that. That someone might deal with in a third world type situation. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people over in the Philippines right now would love to have some of these books. That they could treat minor things. I mean I could do minor things out of this book. But I'm not going to be repairing arteries. but Or aspirating I guess that's chest wounds or something like that. Or If, if you're in something like that with me you're, you're screwed. I'm screwed. I'll never do anything like this. But a doctor may need a reference book saying, oh yeah, I could do that because I'm a doctor. You know, I wouldn't know how to do that or put people in traction and stuff like that. But, but, but someone with that skill set would. And in the absolute worst case scenario, I'm probably going to die of infection, but this may get me through tying off an artery if I have to. If you're not squeamish and... You know, a loved one's life's at stake, you do what you got to do. But it's not my first choice. But if I had to, I'm sure I could follow how to clamp off an artery. At least at least give a couple hours until the right person gets there before they bleed out, you know. they Sure, they may still lose a limb or whatever, but it's always better to lose a limb than your life. Because, hey, it's your life. And you do whatever you got to do. So... I recommend everyone pick it up, read it. I'm going to read through it several times. I'm sure I won't understand it, but as, as I like to say, I understand, but I don't comprehend. I will know the information in this book. I may not know how to practically apply it, but I will know the information in this book. Especially the treating chemical, radiological, and, uh, and uh, biological injuries. And diagnosed symptoms. Someone's like, oh, I'm coughing and I'm coughing this way. And, you know, the surface of my tongue is coming up or whatever. I'll probably know what, the, what, what agent was used. And I'll say, oh, well, we just have to wash with water. Or you need, you need Cipro or, 
or doxycycline or tetracycline. I read one in here, one of the biological agents that was pretty bad, and it's just tetracycline was the treatment for it. And you can go to Harbor Freight. I'm not Harbor Freight. Nah. You can go to Tractor Supply, and you can buy a bag. Not that I would, but in a survival situation, I do what I got to do. You get a bag of tetracycline and just, you know, figure out the human dose. And I'm not going to go into that stuff, but it can be done. But I wouldn't want, I wouldn't personally want to use animal antibiotics because they're not up to human standards. It may be the same thing, but it may have other things added to it, such as bugs. That were, oh, well, it's contaminated with whatever, we will add them in protein. Or maybe left on the dock in the hot sun for a week or two through customs. Not kept refrigerated. They're not, they're not kept in the same sterile or clean things that are needed for humans, required for human antibiotics. So I wouldn't use one. But if it was between that and gangrene, yeah, I, would, I would use whatever I could. But I don't know. That's another, that's another topic for another time. I'm just saying everybody should get one of these books. Uh, I find it of value in my library on the shelf. Not in my bag. I mean, I'll keep it on my cloud server. Uh... I can get a Kindle version, I guess. I'll have to check and see. I don't know. But, buy it. <laughs> Alright, this is North Camp Pepper. Um, please rate, subscribe, and take a look at this book if you get a chance. I, I find it valuable. Alright, have a great day, thanks.